Hey everyone, welcome to my first ever recorded unboxing. Now unboxing stuff is something that I do several times a week and sometimes upwards of four times a week, but I've never actually recorded it and displayed it on my YouTube channel. I figure there's a lot of videos going around like this and not to act like other people, but I figured it'd be a good thing to show you guys because a lot of you ask me where do I get the supplies that I use and various questions like that. And in doing the unboxings, I can tell you where I got this stuff and it can give you a better idea of how to structure your own projects. Maybe you could use some of the hookups I have, maybe not. I, I really don't care, but you guys might be able to benef benefit from it. And I feel like it could also allow me to get an additional video out wh whenever time allows or whenever I have something cool to show you guys. Now, I have something really interesting in here. I actually already know what it is and I have a general idea of what it looks like. Don't let the Fluval logo trick you. It has nothing to do with Fluval. So what I have in this box is something that I've been looking for for a few weeks now and it was really important that I got it in order to move forward with Dean's enclosure. Now I'm editing the video for the actual enclosure itself right now. I'm about halfway through it. I would hope to get it up by next weekend but if it doesn't come out next weekend, it will come out the weekend after that for sure. So you'll see it for sure within two weeks, guaranteed. And then probably the week after that, you'll see the setup. But I haven't been able to do the setup yet because I needed this item that's in this box. And actually, I got a few of them, but I needed this item here. And I was looking. I just couldn't find what I, what I wanted, what my vision was for this tank. And... I was on my Instagram one day just scrolling through and I saw this little thing on there. It said, hey, if you're looking for this, send us an email and I'll tell you a little bit more about that as we open this up here. But I have my trusty box cutter and we'll cut this bad boy open. Let's open this thing up. Ooh. It's always the best part. Start peeling it back. Ooh. Check this out, it's all wrapped up. I'll give you a hint. This looks really big, but it's not that heavy. I think, uh, what the heck was it quote? I think it was co quoted at around 20 pounds. So for something this large, it's not that heavy. And uh, we'll just give you a little sneak, a little sneak right there. You see it? Can you tell what it is? Let's start looking at that. Whoa! Yo, look at, oh. Uh, look at that, man. Look at, whoa. Whoa. Dang. So check this out. These are some giant cork rounds. I mean, look at look at this thing. That is monster. Dang. Let me get this one out too. Yo. Let's get this box out of here. So let me set these things on the floor and let's get a closer look at them. Oh man, this, this one right here, that is the, that is sick. To give you an idea of how big these pieces actually are, I'm about six foot two and this piece right here, I mean that, it's, it's the size of my torso. Pretty, pretty much. It's close to three feet long and this one actually is three feet long I could stick my look I could stick my whole arm in there and uh, I had seen pictures of these well let me, let me rewind a little bit I'll give you a little bit backstory on these in here I'll, I'll set this piece up I mean the, these things that's that's a cork tube guys I've seen them places I've bought them but I Honestly, I can't say that I've ever seen cork tubes this large. These things are huge. And so anyways, 
I'll tell you the story about how I got a hold of these and how you can get a hold of them as well if you're looking for some of these. So I was scrolling through my Instagram and I saw a post from Josh's Frogs and they're a retailer here in the United States. They sell dart frogs, stuff for bioactive vivariums, live plants, all of that sort of thing. I actually got my original springtail culture from them a really long time ago. I've got a ton of my plants from there and they're a really good uh, retailer to work to work with. So anyways, scrolling through, they had this post that said, hey, if you're looking for wholesale uh, cork rounds, and that only applies if you're a retailer, so I wasn't able to get wholesale, but they said if you need large pieces of cork tube, send us an email. So I jumped on the opportunity because I really needed this, like this piece especially, Yo, wait till you see what I have in store for this because I'm probably actually only going to use this one and I'll save this one for a different project. But anyways, I sent them an email. I said what I was looking for. I said, hey, I'm looking for pieces of cork bark that are at least 8 inches in diameter and anywhere from 24 to 36 inches long. Sent me a response with images of all of what I was looking for and originally I wanted 5 pieces and I just... Not that it was overly expensive for what I was getting, I just wasn't prepared to spend that much on this stuff right now because I had other things that I gotta buy right now. But I will probably revisit you guys later on because I, man, for this, honestly it was a deal that I got on these. It, they weren't cheap, but they weren't expensive either. I think it was a pretty good deal. But anyways, if you're looking for pieces like this, just send an email to I, I don't know, it's like info Josh's frogs, I think. If you go to their website, it's the help desk. Tell them what you're looking for, how much you're looking for, size, whatever, and they'll, they'll give you the hookup for sure. Tell them that I sent you. And here, look, I'll hold these things up to Henry's cage, and this is a 20 long converted into a vertical vivarium, but look at that. They're as big as his, his tank. Man, that's nuts. That is nuts. And you may be wondering why I go through all the trouble to get a piece of cork like that. It's probably kind of expensive by comparison to what you see right there. And that's the same reason why right there. That little half circle tree stump thing. So I've been keeping those things for years. They're great. And they definitely get the job done. But they don't look nearly as natural. Even though it is a real piece of wood. It doesn't look as natural as that piece of cork bark simply because of the way that it's cut and you're not really gonna see anything like that in nature as well so as you could imagine that piece of cork bark is gonna make a much more natural looking hide than say something like that and that about does it guys I just wanted to do a little bit of a bonus video a little unboxing kind of test the water see what you guys think about a video like this and also I was really excited to show you guys what I had here and it, it couldn't wait I wanted to show you guys and if you like this video, definitely hit the thumbs up. I also got another unboxing coming next week. And if you didn't like this video, then you'll probably like next week's unboxing. As you see, I got this quarantine tank behind me. Got some cool fish going in there. I also got a quarantine tank set up over here and it's already stocked to some degree. I'll probably get a couple more fish in there and I'm just growing them out for some plans I have in the future. But anyways, if you didn't like this video, I got a ton of other content and I of course have new DIY videos, all that sort of thing coming up in the near future. So stay tuned. As always, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.